Okay, here's a stupid, long, boring video of me. So just turn away. Immediately turn away if you don't want to watch. <coughs> it has to do with Fender guitars. So, a long time ago, I helped, when I worked at Fender, I helped do this parts list. I would download all the data from the Fender databases and made this awesome, most excellent manual. And you're going to have to forgive the videography because I don't have a camera purse. But anyway, if you look, it even says special thanks to Rick Martin in there. In there. Well, there was this one guy who used to like to order tweed, which kind of looks a little bit like my hat, but that's straw. They're probably related, tweed and straw. Well, this guy Sam, he used to call me all the time, needing help finding tweed and things like that, and certain other amplifier parts, and I would always help him out. So, I always said I would just help him out, and anyway, about a month or two later, I walk into the sales department and I see this clock hanging there. And, um, and I go to Phil like, oh, where did you get that from? And he says, oh, Sam Hutton sent it to me. I'm like, Sam sent it to you? And he's like, yeah. And he's like, like for what? Or I said, like for what? And he's like, oh, well, for helping him out. And I'm like, what? Because I know from being with an earshot of Phil, I helped Sam out so many more times. So to be honest, I was slightly annoyed. I was slightly annoyed. Because Sam would call me all the time. Well, anyway, so one day, and it wasn't even within a day or two, but Sam calls me up needing more help. And so I had to razz him. I had to, because again, I was annoyed. Here I am, I'm his go to person. <coughs> And I'm helping him out when nobody else could, other than maybe Phil helping him once or twice. But I was the person that was helping him out the most. And so anyway, I said, hey, how come you didn't send me a clock? And he's kind of backtracking and like going, um, 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 um. But he goes, I'll send you one. And I'm like, okay, cool. He knew he owed me, and I knew that I felt it was within my place to ask him, if that makes sense. Because again, I was going out of my way to help him. But anyway, so, sure enough, he sends me this clock. And again, the camera angles might be crappy. Because again, I have no camera person, but you have a Fender amp looking clock and nothing fancy on the back other than he actually autographed it. Um, right there, it says Champ, Fullerton, California. Um, and then it says to Rick Martin right here, October 1993, and you notice, you can see the second hand moving, and so he sends me the clock, and life was good again, life was good again, because again, I've been helping him out all this time, oh, you can see it has a 
fake little handle. Again, sorry about the camera work. It has a fake little handle. And on the back it also says Vintage Fender Amplifier and Cabinet Restoration. There's a little stamp right there. And these little tacks were used to hold the tweed on. This is tweed that would be used on the 59 basement if you're into amplifiers. Which 59 basements could lead into a whole different story, but I won't go there. But anyway, you notice that the clock movement is working. You can see the second hand going. So, I had this clock hanging in my studio for literally about two years. And the second hand kept going and going. And I don't know how good it'll be on video, but then one day, the second hand stops. Well, to be honest, you can't hear the clicking of the clock in this video. But when you put this clock on a wall, and if you have good hearing, or sensitive hearing, you could hear it. So, in a music studio, which my studio was, it would just go tick, 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 tick. So when the battery ran out, I just left it be. It just was stuck at whatever time it was. And so, um, so I just left it be. And so I had it about, like I said, about two years. And one day, I go down to the front office at Fender, and for whatever bizarre reason, the most senior executive assistant, she said to me, and I think I know why, probably because she used to route phone calls to me all the time, and she said to me, Hey, did you hear that Sam Hutton died? And I'm like, what? And she said, yeah, he died. Well, you know, first of all, I knew that Sam was an old guy. I could tell by his voice on his phone. And um, I knew that he was an old guy. And, and I said, like, well, when did, that, when did that happen? And she goes, like, oh, about a week or two ago. And I was just kind of like freaking because that's about when my clock stopped. The one that was signed by Sam Hutton, there's his signature right there. So I was just kind of like slightly tripping on that, you know what I mean? It's like, what are the odds, you know? He sends me the clock, and yeah, I go to Dementa, but he sends me the clock, and it dies about the same time that he passed on. And so, to me, this whole little thing is just a weird series of coincidences. And so, here's another funny coincidence. It's right there. It's a Sam Hutton, Fullerton, California. And you may or may not be able to see it. Let's see, you know, proof in the pudding. See, it says Rick Martin, Fender Musical Instruments, 7975 North Hayden Road, 85258 in Scottsdale. And right there, it says Vintage Fender, I won't read the whole thing, Sam Houghton, Fold to California. But, so it ends up, um, I decided to sell this on eBay. I'm not going to go into the whole eBay thing. And I, I did get a fair price for this. I'm not going to go into the dollars. I got a fair price. But I got a fair price. But the funny thing is, the guy that 
bought this clock happens to be in Cerrito, California, which I never heard of, nor did I bother look to look up. But then, by weird chance, my telephone, which I'm recording this with, um, my telephone rings and it's a 714 area code. And guess where the area code is from on this phone in particular. We know 714 is California, but this area code, the phone itself was from Fullerton, California. So it's just kind of weird that somebody from Cerrito, California buys this Fullerton clock from me in Mesa that was sent to me in Scottsdale and then somebody from Fullerton, California calls me up out of the blue. So, like, this clock must have some magical vibes. Okay, I'm not into that stuff, but it is a lot of unusual coincidences. Welcome to the Twilight Zone. Ooh, which is weird because my company name is Twilight Computing. Ooh.